Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta slash Gogeta Blue at Rainbow Status. Now, when I first saw the details for this guy drop on Twitter a few days ago, um, I thought he was quite good. I did say, you know, he seems to be a very good Extreme Z Awakening, but I also didn't think he was going to be that broken. You know, I repeatedly said in that video that I don't think he's quite on the same level as uh, some of the top tier Extreme Z Awakenings like the uh, LR Rose and Zamasu, the STR Cooler, and so on and so forth. And I think as we go through this uh, showcase here, we're going to find out that I was actually very much underrating this guy's Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, upon first impression in that video a few days ago. So anyways, with that said, uh, I'm going to quickly go over the Extreme Z Awakening details for this Gogeta before we get into the gameplay. If you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Alright, so starting with the Super Saiyan Gogeta, his leader skill is Movie Heroes or Fusion, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, his super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Oh, sorry, uh, greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And his passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 140% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking. Attacks effective against all types, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and transforms when conditions are met. And he'll transform starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle into Blue Gogeta, who uh, has a super attack that greatly raises attack and defense for four turns and causes immense damage. And passive is Q plus three, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking, performs a critical hit, so all guaranteed crits, and then great chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional Q plus two, an attack plus 50% for 4 turns uh, after evading an attack. So that is the uh, Extreme Z Awakened Blue Gogeta. And uh, this is the team we're going to be running. It's basically a double Piccolo led team of uh, superheroes slash battle of wits. And the event is the new uh, cell stage of the Red Ribbon Army Ultimate Red Zone event, which I haven't done uh, yet. And I was going to do a separate video for it, but I was like, I might as well just showcase this guy on the new stage since I need to do it anyways, right? So with all that said, this is the first rotation. We got the blue Gogeta, or rather the Super Saiyan Gogeta, linked up with the uh, Kid Pan here, only sharing one link. Eventually, I want to get the Gogeta together with the uh, Tech Vegito Blue. So let's just uh, give this guy some orbs. He's starting with... Uh, 182k defense, which is not crazy, but keep in mind he does have the 50% chance to dodge, and he also raises his defense on uh, his super attack. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. We also are doing a lot of damage as well, so that's good, but... Um, I do want to make it clear that I don't think that the AGL Gogeta is a good slot 1 unit if you, you know, get hit before he has a chance to attack. Because after he attacks, especially if he double supers, then he's definitely going to be much tankier. As you saw, there was a massive difference between the damage he took before we attacked and after we attacked. So it's not really um, a good idea to put him in the first slot if there's a lot of attacks before you get to attack, but after he supers, he's actually much better defensively than people initially gave him credit for. I'm not saying he's like an amazing tank or anything, you know, he's not gonna be uh, tanking supers on hard events, but he definitely, uh, I would say, can hold his own for the most part. So. Uh, yeah, on this rotation, I'm definitely going to be floating the Vegito Blue because we want to get him, once again, linked up with the 
uh, Gogeta at some point, right? And I just realized that it didn't give a super to my Vegito Blue, which might not matter because I think we're about to kill the Cell before Vegito even has a chance to attack. Uh, we want to definitely stack up the Vegito a little bit though because his defense, the start, as you guys might know, is pretty bad. Um, oh no, never mind. Never mind. Uh, definitely gonna get a few attacks off here. Hopefully a couple of supers. Maybe one super. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, so we want this guy to stack up because uh, later on I'm assuming that the cell is gonna start hitting pretty damn hard. He's actually already hitting kind of hard, um, you know, on the first phase, and there's a bunch of phases, so yeah, this could get kind of rough. This this could get a little bit rough. Okay, so uh, this time we're linked up with the Piccolo, and same thing, still sharing only the one link. Uh, defense is 182k, just like before. And maybe I should have actually left the pan in the second slot so that she can still support us when the Vegito Blue comes around. But it's not a big deal. It's okay. So yeah, we're still taking 172k for a normal. Obviously with type disadvantage. But uh, nonetheless... Um, okay, wait. Does, does the cell cancel evasion does he cancel dodge because if that's the case then maybe this wasn't the best event to showcase the gogeta on because so far i don't remember gogeta dodging a single attack oh no no pan just dodged okay so i guess we're just getting very unlucky yeah i think we're just getting really 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 unlucky with the the rng for gogeta because Pan literally has a 30% chance to dodge, and she just dodged, but our Godita hasn't dodged in two turns, right? In like two appearances, which is actually, it's, it should be pretty rare. That, that, that should be pretty rare. So hopefully we get some better RNG here. We're getting the transformation now into Blue Godita. This is a 70% chance to dodge now, okay? 70% chance to dodge. Um, am I concerned about Vegito Blue? Yes, but hopefully he gets a couple of supers. I'm not going to be using an item this early into the event because I just don't think it's really necessary. We'll see if that was the right decision because if we don't get like at least two supers... Oh, we're good. Okay. I was going to say, if we don't get two supers, I think we might get screwed, but with two supers, we might be okay. We might be okay. Maybe a third super would definitely make me feel better. Okay, no. 92k, alright. 97k. <laughs> okay, Blue Gogeta, 6.8 mil. Very nice. Guaranteed crit, of course, so that's going to be some good damage right there. Another super, 7.3. Yeah, looking very, very powerful, guys. All right, and there's a dodge. There's a hit. Dodge, there's a dodge. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so overall, not bad. Overall, not bad. And... Um... I'm thinking about maybe popping the orange piccolo active skill but i feel like it actually takes away from the showcase of the blue gogeta so no, i'm gonna hold on to that for now i'm gonna hold on to that for now maybe a little bit later in the showcase we'll use the orange piccolo if i feel like we get to that point you know where we're desperate but for now we should be okay because the piccolos are going to tank really well and uh, pan has the chance to dodge and piccolo hits really hard anyways so we might actually kill the second form cell right now. Yeah, okay. Of course, tanking extremely, extremely well. I know this is not an Orange Piccolo showcase, but in case you ever doubted how good Orange Piccolo is, um, yeah, he's really good. <laughs> he's really damn good. 73 damage! 
We just took 73 damage from a super. That's crazy, man. <laughs> that's that's insane. Um, on the flip side, yo, the blue Gogeta, he took a normal for double digits after we supered twice. So, like I said, man, his defense is like actually quite good, you know, on top of the on top of the dodging, of course, which uh, is very clutch. Okay, so we are going to look at 346k defense after the super. He should be closer to like 5 600k, um, somewhere in that range. And I fully anticipate that Blue Gogeta is going to finish off the cell here. If he doesn't, then I think Vegito Blue is going to do the job. Okay, 10.3 mil. 10.3 mil, of course, credit to the. Uh, attack raising on a super attack and yeah there it goes the the cell okay so i think there's two more phases now in this rotation um i think i'm going to yeah i'm going to leave the str piccolo in the first slot just because of the type disadvantage although i think he actually would have done okay because he does get guard but I'm not gonna risk it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the STR Piccolo in the first slot. You'll be safe there with no attacks, and then the other Piccolos are just gonna kinda, you know, do their thing. Yeah, we should be able to take out at least half of Cell's HP here, if not more. Yeah, okay, here's a super. I'm gonna say double digits, man. Yeah, <laughs> 20 damage. <laughs> oh man, Piccolo is so crazy. Piccolo is so crazy. I'm sorry. I know. I know we're not showcasing him. I know this is a blue Gogeta showcase, um, and blue Gogeta has been very impressive, or Gogeta blue, depending on what you want to call him. It's of course your call. But I'm just trying to say, like, dude, he is so. Orange Piccolo is so damn good. Okay, uh, the defense is 290k for Blue Godita. Um, I'm not going to be popping an item once again just because I don't think it's necessary. I do expect the cell to hit pretty hard. But I think we'll also be okay. There we go. 70% chance to dodge. 10.9 mil uh, attack stat there. Hopefully, an additional super should be like 11, 12 mil. 11.5. 11.5. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. And another dodge. And then Vegito Blue can hopefully get at least two supers off. That would be good. Okay, just one because, of course, we hit pretty hard, so... There you have it, and oh, you know what? I think there's one more cell after this. Yeah, I don't believe this is the last cell. I mean, we'll find out, but okay. So Piccolo there, I'm gonna heal back to almost full with that, and then, uh, let's see. I'm trying to get some supers with the, you know, God Boys as well, because they really need to build up that defense. Um, this is doing a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, 250k. The yeah, good thing is we are going to heal back up here with the token attack, so it doesn't matter too much, but uh, we got to be careful. Got to be very careful with the cell, because he clearly does a lot of damage. <laughs> he clearly hits very, very hard. <clears throat> I was told that one of the forms of cell can double super i'm not sure if it was this form or the one before but either way uh it looks like it doesn't have a lot of hp so i think we'll be all right as long as we kill him very quickly yep okay oh my god oh my god okay um the good thing is we are gonna finish off we're gonna finish off Cell now with uh, our Blue Gogeta. Um, but this dude is scary, man. This dude is very, very scary. A normal 
just did 230k. Of course, it was a not very built up LR God Boys, but th that was still crazy. That was still crazy. All right. Um. So here, uh, I'm gonna actually use a Weiss because. If the pan doesn't dodge, right, then she could definitely get us killed. Because she needs to dodge first before she gets her full passive, right? And if she doesn't get the dodge, then we could be in for a very bad time. We could be in for a very bad time. Uh, 7.4 mil <laughs> from Orange Piccolo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's, it's, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. And this Piccolo can guard, so he will be alright too. Since we have the Whis active and everything. Yeah. Good, okay. Um, it looks like Pan might be the one to get supered. And if she gets supered, once again, I'd be very worried. Oh, she got the dodge. She got two dodges. Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, Gogeta in the first slot, no question. And then let's see, give these to Vegito. So we can give these. Ooh, you know what? I should have given those tech orbs to the God Boys. That was a mistake. That might have been a mistake. Okay. A couple of dodges. A third dodge, maybe. Oh, no dodge there. Okay. Ooh. 135k I can live with that I can live with that 9.7 mil tax that give me a second super let's see it double super even doubling double supering every single turn Ooh, only additional there of course the additional still did very good damage though can't complain about that can't complain about the additional super doing literally two mil right like that's that's pretty solid and uh, yeah, Vegito Blue finally getting a second super. Finally getting a third super. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Okay. Yep. And uh, there's the tanking from all those supers. And God Boys finally getting an 18 key super off. I was having trouble with that actually. I was on the fence about bringing them, but I still thought it might have been a good idea. But now I'm not too sure if that was the best idea um so here obviously we could go for a orange piccolo transformation it wouldn't be the worst idea but i i think i'm gonna just leave it i think i'm gonna just leave it um honestly i think there's a decent chance that we still kill cell even without the orange piccolo transformation because he's just that good Right, and uh, you know, using Orange Piccolo here would guarantee that we kill Cell before we get a chance to go back to the Blue Gogeta, which is what I want to do. I want to go back to Blue Gogeta and let him finish off, finish off the Cell here because it is his showcase after all. Even though Piccolo has been crazy impressive here, um, eleven damage. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, hopefully we can get one more attack off. But I think it's looking pretty likely. Oh, you know what? Actually, never mind. I think we're going to get one more attack here. I think we're going to get back to the other rotation. And if we do, then definitely Gogeta is going to do the job. He's going to do the thing. He's going to do the thing. Okay, defense. Let's see. 290k. And of course gonna do a boatload of damage here so this is it guys that's gonna do it first attempt at the um the, the cell event or the cell stage of the red ribbon army red zone event and uh it's a success because this team is just crazy and blue godita is a monster and i was so wrong about this guy i was so wrong about this guy in terms of my claim that I didn't, I didn't think he was broken, right? I mean, that was as far from the truth as possible. He is very much a monster. He is very much one of, if not the best EZA in the game right now. Um, and I do think he deserves to be called broken. I think that that is an accurate description of what AGL Gogeta is now. 
with this Extremes Awakening. He is an absolute monster, especially with those additional supers, with the dodge chance. And uh, luckily for these, you know, new red zone stages, you can dodge supers and you, just attacks in general. You can dodge attacks in general, right? So um, that definitely makes him even more effective because of the ability to dodge. I think maybe because they were seeing how people were like complaining about you know units with dodge being less useful these days since so many bosses were nullifying or canceling dodge i think going forward hopefully at least fingers crossed um less bosses have this dodge cancel ability so that units like the blue gogeta and uh you know hl ui goku and so on and so forth can shine a little bit more so yeah that's all i gotta say guys hl gogeta insane insane um is he better than str cooler uh i'm still on the fence about it honestly because coolers it's just so good against pure saiyans and hybrid saiyans and then there's also the utility with the um the support right he provides such crazy support for transformation boost and uh wicked bloodline that it's kind of hard to compare so i'm not sure right now i'm not sure right now but i would say he is on the same level as str cooler at the very least you know um they're probably 1a and 1b for the best ecas in the game whichever order you want to put them in and uh that's all i gotta say guys amazing amazing eca uh, i'm gonna showcase the fizz broly as well in a bit but i wanted to start with this guy because of all the hype around him and the hype is definitely justified so that's it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video signing out